Almost four years ago, Wall Street crashed our economy, an event that required massive taxpayer intervention to save the financial system from complete collapse. In the wake of that crisis, Congress passed a sweeping overhaul of financial laws that were supposed to help prevent another crisis from happening again. But Wall Street pushed back hard, and very little has changed. The banks that blew up the economy got trillions of dollars in bailouts, while millions of Americans lost their jobs and their homes. And, as the most recent jobs report shows, there's an ongoing economic crisis in this country with dire consequences for millions of Americans who are struggling. There's an obvious problem here. We have to ask ourselves, why is it so important to rescue the banks at the expense of the economy? It really comes down to who creates our money and for what. Banks create our money supply when they make loans. If banks don't make loans, we lose our money supply. This gives banks enormous power because they decide what gets funded and what doesn't. And they can hold us to ransom when they get it wrong. This is a serious problem for democracy. But it was never meant to be like this. Our Constitution clearly places the power to create money with Congress, not the banks or anybody else. The National Emergency Employment Defense Act, the NEED Act, H.R. 2990, reasserts the sole grant of constitutional power to create money to Congress. It does this in three steps. First, the Federal Reserve System is reorganized, put under the U.S. Treasury, where all new money would be issued without debt or interest, adding to revenue without taxing or borrowing, and spent into circulation to promote the general welfare. The money system would be monitored to be neither inflationary nor deflationary. Second, we would end the practice called fractional reserve lending, which allows private entities, mostly banks, to create and issue our money supply as interest-bearing debt. All previously created private credit would be converted into U.S. government money. Banks would then act as intermediaries, accepting savings deposits and loaning them out to borrowers. This nationalizes our money system, not the banking system. Third, new money is spent into circulation as the economy grows, and that money is used to pay for infrastructure, education, renewable energy, and other important needs in this country, as appropriated by Congress. This would create real wealth and career opportunities in the millions, millions of new, good jobs. The national debt would also be paid off as it comes due. So let's take back control over our monetary system and fix our economy. Let's not stand idle any longer waiting for the banks to save us. H.R. 2900, 2990 that is, the NEED Act, will get us moving again.